I'm very proud of what I inherited from my father back in 1980. There's 14 people employed here between the, the bakery and the coffee shop. In Capricorn, when um, my father was a child, there was seven or eight bakeries there because people didn't have the variety of food that we have today. Supermarkets were not there and uh, people just ate bread. When the bakers come in at night, they switch on these ovens first thing. Take two and a half hours to bring up to temperature to bake a batch of bread. So the brick takes in the heat slowly. So after they've been up, fired up, and when the batch is ready to go in, um, they're switched off and the batch is put in. So in actual fact, it's uh, baked in a falling heat. They're commonly known as a wood-fired oven. In the 50s, they were converted to oil. These are the oldest of this type of oven working in Ireland today. Those are the peels and that's called a peel cradle and um, there's a skill in actually just loading and unloading the oven as well. It, the process of making yeast bread is you put flour, salt, water and yeast and um, it's time. That becomes the boss once it's made because it's all, it all depends on the atmosphere and the temperature. Mm -hmm. But if it goes through the prover and comes out, um, it's knocked back. In baking bread you have the knocking back. Um, process. So you let it grow and then you knock it back and it's more slowly developed. So that means that it's more digestible. The temperature and the moisture in the air affects making bread. Even your mood affects making the bread. There was a time when we had four different people who made the scones in the morning and I could tell uh, um, on the morning who made the scones because the character of the person came through on the scones. Baron's signature bread. It's the, it's the turnover. I wanted to marry a coffee shop with what I inherited because that was what I was really trained in. And I opened the coffee shop, Barron's Coffee House, in 1983. We survived the 80s. It was rough times, but we had added on the coffee shop at that time and it helped to keep us afloat. By good bread, we mean bread that has well baked, which means when you squeeze it, it's actually got a crust. Modern day bread, when you squeeze it, it's squashy. We buy as much of our ingredients as possible locally, and we have our own little garden. We grow some of the vegetables for the soup, and we grow lettuce and mixed leaves. So that's what you call a real local food experience. Uh, the bread, the cakes, any food you have here, it's all baked fresh on the premises. Good bread, good food, good health. You have the recipe for life. <laughs>